poem was very empowering when she said, you can try to break me, you can try to make me not smile, but still I rise. That was me, that little girl in high school. So if I had to say that to a little girl right now, you always smile, young lady, because you're worth it and you keep on shining. Hi, my name is Leanne Ingram. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. So with this froggy little voice and my father cut my hair short, people would say, uh, he's so cute. So fifth grade, I wanted to put a barrette in my little short hair. I ended up the mascot of the boys baseball team in third, fourth, and fifth grade. And uh, I would come home from my all parochial Catholic girls school and take off my little uniform and head to the baseball field across the street. I was their bat girl, so, and I learned to read the signs if they were gonna steal or bunt. They kinda liked having me on. My dad is currently 96, and I like to say 96 and a half years old. He was raised by a German mother, Cecilia Rosenbuck. She's the oldest living nurse when she was living at the time from St. Thomas Hospital. One thing that I loved about my dad, he would take each of us children one month we could pick where we wanted to go for dinner and it was a one-on-one -on -one time. And when we would go to dinner, he really would take the time to get to know us. My mom was a great, great homemaker, great mom. She always took me to places to volunteer. I think my parents very much instilled in me, just be a good person, give back, and help volunteer where you can. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. The one person who inspired me the most so if I had to pick somebody off the top of my head, I would say Annette Eskin. When I met Annette Eskin a few years back, she told me she was a transient from Boston and she went to enroll her children in preschool, kindergarten, and they didn't have that in the metro school system and she was appalled. So she got an office in my husband's office building and she started preschools and kindergartens to be in every metro school system. When I was in high school, um, I'm the tomboy and all the girls are really pretty and cheerleaders and whatnot. I thought maybe I wasn't getting as many dates because I wasn't pretty enough, thin enough. I developed anorexia. And after going to a few coaches, I learned that you have to develop your inner self. And I think a lot of teenagers experience self-esteem issues. I developed a website called coachingforteens.org and teenagers in their own home, in their own school, could go online and reach a coach on, it could be anything, I've got pimples, my parents are fighting, I don't want to ask a girl to prom, I want to ask a gentleman to prom, or vice versa. It's just so many opportunities to not feel cool about yourself. So I learned if I can empower other teenagers to feel good about themselves, they might be me later and help somebody else one day. If a teenager came to me today and said, Leanne, I'm scared, I would say, believe in yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Don't give up. And just know that you're number one and you're created for a reason.